happy international day of mathematics to so you guys welcome once more to another video in our youtube channel so in today's video we are going to be looking at equation on center of mass and the equation has already been displayed to you it says that we should find the distance of the center of mass of the laminar abcd from the line ab so let's get started Alright, so um, the objective of the equation is to get the distance of the center of mass of this lamina from the line AB. So the very first thing to do is that we let the mass per unit area of any sub lamina to be lambda. So we are going to construct a table where we are going to take the various portions, that's the various laminas that exist in our full lamina. We look for their weights and then we find the distance of the center of mass of these portions from the line AB. All right, so let us begin with um, the first portion. But before that, we are going to divide our lamina into two different portions. So this is the original lamina that was given to us. So we can construct a point E where we draw the line EC to form a rectangle ABCE and a triangle um ecd so that's the figure now you see that the, the 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 width of this rectangle is a therefore the height of the triangle is going to be 4a because the total length from a to d was 5a so constructing a rectangle here we see that <clears throat> the distance from a to e is a automatically the distance from e to d is going to give us 5a minus a which is 4a all right so we have um two sub portions and then the third portion is our whole lamina so we are going to begin with the first portion which is the rectangle a b c e now we need to get the weight of that rectangle but anyways <clears throat> let's first of all display the rectangle now we have to find the distance of the center of mass of this rectangle from the line a b so um, the length and the width of the rectangle are 3a and a respectively so since we let lambda to be our mass per unit area it means that lambda is equal to the mass divided by the area so the mass is equal to lambda times the area but we know that our weight is equal to mg so it becomes lambda times area times g we use the mass per unit area because we can we cannot find the mass of a rectangle you see we cannot find the mass of a plane figure as we, we have here that's why the constant mass per unit area for every sub lamina here is lambda which is a constant for all of them all right so our weight will be expressed in terms of the area times the mass per unit area times the acceleration due to gravity so considering this our figure we see the area is simply the length times the width which is 3a times 3a give, gives us 3a squared so the distance of the center of mass of this rectangle from the line AB is simply this distance which is A divided by 2 is the width divided by 2. Why? Because a rectangle is a plane figure that has a center and the, 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 the center of mass of any plane figure with a center lies at that center and you see that the distance from the center of this rectangle to any of the sides is simply um, let's say vertical distance from the center to the to the length below is simply the width of the rectangle divided by two so that is why the distance from the center of mass of this rectangle to the line a b is simply the width which is a then we need to divide it by two all right so the weight of our um, rectangle is the area times lambda times g but the area is 3a squared so we have 3a squared lambda g and the distance of the center of mass of this rectangle from the line a b is is a divided by two now if we take the next portion which is the triangle um, cde that's our triangle our triangle cde so we need to find the weights but first of all let us display the triangle itself so um, normally for a triangle right the distance of the center of mass of the triangle lies at the point of intersection of a right angle triangle lies at the point of intersection of its medians because there is no line of symmetry so we we, we, we construct the line of intersection we we, we, we look for the points of intersection of the medians and that point the center of mass of the triangle is going to lie there but anyway since we need a vertical distance it is always one third from the height and one third from the base 
so this vertical distance is one third of the height if we're looking for the horizontal distance from the height is going to be one third of the base so but we actually need the distance of the center of mass of this um, triangle not from the base ec but from the line ad so we are going to add up the line ad and then we need to add up this remaining distance and this remaining distance is simply the distance a because it is the width of the rectangle so we see that we have to find the center of mass we have to find the distance of the center of mass of this right angle triangle from its base then from the line ab so from the base we call it y and it is one third of the height anyways the area is half base times height half times um the base is 3a because it's simply the length of our rectangle and the height is 4a so we take half of 3 times half of 3a times 4a we're going to get 6a squared now the distance of the center of mass of this triangle from the line ab is simply the distance of the center of mass of that triangle from its base plus the remaining distance which is the width of the rectangle so we have y plus a how do we get y y is simply one third of the height so one third of 4a then plus a simplifying we get 7a divided by 3 so the area the, the width of our triangle is the area times lambda g so we have 6a squared times lambda g and the distance is 7a divided by 3 our last portion is our whole lamina abcd so let's just locate um, our whole lamina abcd the weight is going to be the sum of the weights of its individual lamina so we have 3a squared lambda g plus 6a squared lambda g to give us 9a squared lambda g now what is the distance of the center of mass of our whole lamina from this from the from the side ab we can call it y bar that is a representation so we have y bar now after doing this the next thing to do is that we take moments about the line we are finding the distance of the center of mass of the figure from so taking moments about the line ab we know moment is the weight times the perpendicular distance and all these distances from ab are the perpendicular distances actually because remember we are just taking vertical distances so the line ab is horizontal so automatically these vertical distances are the perpendicular distances of the various figures so if we take moments about the line ab we see that the sum of moments for the individual portions is equal to the moments of the whole body so moment is a for is a weight times the perpendicular distance so we look for the moment of portion abcd plus the moment of portion cde equal to the moment of the whole lamina so um, doing that we have 3a squared lambda g times its distance plus 6a squared lambda g times its own distance to be equal to 9a squared lambda g times its own distance which is what we are looking for so lambda a squared lambda g cancels um, everywhere and then we are left with 3a on 2 plus um, 6 on 3 is 2 times 7a is 14a to be equal to 9 times um, y bar so we can simplify and then we get our y bar to be 31a divided by 18 so we can conclude that the distance of the center of mass of our lamina abcd from the site ab is simply 31 divided by 18a units all right so see you guys in the next video and thanks for watching